Hello friends and welcome to my second episode on understanding cataracts a complete guide. I hope you got a chance to see the first one which has my interview with Aparna Ganesh who is a very famous YouTuber. We are going to continue the same format in a few series where she had interviewed me a few weeks ago. So we are combining each episode with my monologue with you and our interview so that we can explain in depth everything to do with a cataract. In the last episode, we discussed about what exactly is a cataract and what are the symptoms. In this episode, we are going to discuss the causes, the risk factors and the most important as to how are we really diagnosing a cataract. So without wasting more time, let's get started with this part of the second episode of Understanding Cataract, A Complete Guide. I'm Dr. Kumar, doctor from Dr. Rai Institute, and we have a channel called iLogs, which is everything to do with eye care and sight. If you already not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do so. And hit the bell icon so that every time I release a new video, you get notified. So let's continue my interview with Aparna Ganesh where I left it last. So do you mean it is specific to a, spe you know, like a specific age group? Cataract is only for older people? Uh, not really. So it's common above the age of 60. Mm. But if you ask me, is it congenital? The answer is yes. So I've operated a 20 day old baby was born with a cataract and it's also called a congenital cataract. So they're born with cataracts, it's like a defect and which can be cured. As you got it right, the most common cause of a cataract is age-related. But there are lots of other causes of cataract too. So let's discuss a few of them. So going into the depth of other causes of a cataract, one of them is congenital, means you can be born with a cataract. Another common cause is medication. These are also called secondary cataracts. So if you are an asthmatic, if you got interstitial lung disease and you need to take steroids for any cause, these steroids have a side effect that it may cause glaucoma, means high pressure of the eye, and can also cause a cataract. So there are medications which can cause cataracts, so they are called secondary cataracts. Another common cause is a traumatic cataract, means an injury. So if you had an injury with a cricket ball, it can cause a cataract. If there was a penetrating injury with a pencil or any other cause, so this can also lead to formation of a cataract. And these are called traumatic cataracts. Another cause can also be a radiation cataract. So some patients who are undergoing treatment for cancer and they are undergoing radiation, they may also develop a cataract. So this explanation actually makes it very clear that cataract is not only in the elderly or the senior citizens, but as I explained in the causes, it can actually occur in any age group, if any of the above reasons of the causes really exist. Would you say that everyone is susceptible to getting a cataract? Is it open for all to, in, you know, just get it? So statistically, uh, not really, but it's more common in geographic regions around the equator. And one of the causes they say is the ultraviolet light coming from the sun, which causes cataract in today's uh, world. There are many other causes of cataract, but one of the reasons, and that's why it's more prevalent in these regions. So if you ask me, the way Aparna does really ask, that who is really susceptible to get a cataract? It's a little confusing, but it's quite easy to understand. It means we need to understand if there are any conditions that make us prone to develop a cataract. So other than the geographic prevalence that I already spoke about, let me tell you some other risk factors for developing a cataract. So other risk factors can be old age, too much exposure to sun, smoking, obesity, high blood pressure, injuries, and of course if there is a family history, diabetes, and exposure to radiation from x-ray and cancer treatment. So when you see types of cataract and risk factors causing them, you realize that cataracts are not only limited to older age group, but also depends on several other factors. But the old age is the most common cause of a cataract. So that brings me to the third question 
of today's discussion as to how do we really diagnose a cataract. So in episode one, I did mention a little bit about symptoms and how you can make out that you have a cataract or not. But when it comes to diagnosis, of course, you have to visit your ophthalmologist. But what does the ophthalmologist or the eye surgeon or the eye doctor really does? First, they will check your visual acuity, means the amount of vision. To know more about visual acuity, uh, make sure that you go to this episode and you can learn a lot about what really is vision and what is visual acuity. Once the ophthalmologist checks your vision, what they do is a detailed slit lamp examination. So what exactly is a slit lamp examination is the patient is made to sit and then there's an instrument called the slit lamp and that's actually a form of light which is converted to a slit and all the parts of the eye are examined. So from the front part, that is from the cornea to your anterior chamber and then to your lens. Once this examination is done, one can determine, that's an ophthalmologist will determine that yes, you have a cataract or you don't have a cataract. And then the patient undergoes a detailed retinal checkup where you actually need to put drops, dilate both the pupils. Once that is done, uh, the back part of the eye, which is called the retina, will be examined to know whether that is okay or not. At the same time, the front part where the cataract actually exists is examined by the specialist. So these are the different methods of examining the eye and that can determine whether you have a cataract or not. This brings me to the end of the second episode of the series of Understanding Cataract, A Complete Guide. So in my next episode of this series of Understanding A Complete Guide is very interesting. It's about prevention of cataract. Is it a reality or myth? I get lots of questions on a daily basis in my clinic. Doctor, I already have a cataract. Now, can I do something to prevent it from increasing? Can I do something so that it disappears? Can I put something in the eye so that it stops from progressing? So these are regular questions I get on a daily basis. Watch out for my third episode, which will be on this interesting topic in this series on cataracts. If you missed my last episode, you'll find the link in the description below. So stay tuned for what is happening in the world for cataract care.